Hey my friends, it's Alicia Stringer here, always empowering success dreams, and thanks for joining guys. I wanted to share something personal today. Whenever you're out on social media, as soon as you can make something personal, people really want to listen. I mean, this is like reality TV, right? And they want to know what is unique about that person? What makes them, what is that personal thing? Hey! PR success team. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for joining. So something personal today is I love to, hi T-Mac. Thanks for joining. Something personal that I love to share is, um, different devotionals and things that I do, um, that I go to church with, right? A lot of people go to church and, and, and it was like, um, some people's goals is to read the Bible throughout the whole year for, um, what, you know, and have that as their goal. Or maybe they have different goals in their lives that they want to accomplish um, religiously or personally. And so what is some of your goals that you have out there, you know, personally, spiritually, um, religiously, something that maybe you had an intention for? Um, it could be at the very, hey, from, hey, chow, from Italy. I love it. All over the world here. And there, something personal that's to you for spiritually, it can be very powerful in your, um, and who, who, how it com brings out your personality, right? Okay. So on my blog post, I love to share, um, devotionals. So these are my sermon notes that I personally write from, um, when I go to church service or, um, from different, um, preachers. And, um, also I share, um, different, um, bulletins, you know, that I get from different churches or, um, even from books. I love to share some, some parts that I'm doing. Thanks for all the love hearts. I love the blue heart love hearts. This one I wanted to share and this one, how, um, if you read the Bible in Psalms, um, 73 is the one that shares a powerful transformation in how, um, the faith of Asaphat. Asif, if I can say his name right. I'm horrible with Bible names. <laughs> so this Bible post, um, this little bulletin was um, shared um, a story that um, they were having a child and he um, had a, a premature child. And the, the struggle that a premature child goes through and trying to develop themselves um, not being in the wound and, and their um, struggle um, within the first 40 days and being in the hospital was they had um, a, a blood heart um, was um, bursted and got them um, delayed on um, the motor movements and stuff. And so um, knowing the struggle that um, this child was going through and the parents that had going through, this Psalm 73 helped uh, feel that confidence in the the pain um, that was suffered and going through and all this confusion, not understanding what's going on with this baby and why it was going through this. And um, the faith that Asaph, Asaph had in this Psalm, Psalm 73, was very powerful in a way that, um, it, that the circumstances do not change, um, you know, how God loves you. Um, so, it was very powerful to know that this was a circumstance that they were going through and um, something that was transformed their lives. You know, their, their brand new child is transforming a life anyways and to moving forward. So there's some big things that came out of, of this story. One is a faith. You have to have strong faith in who you are and through the pain and suffering that you go through. Um, and next is... <clears throat> to declare, you know, just goodness in God, just keeping that, um, God is there for you, um, through all the grace that comes in your life and having that confidence in, in the Lord is very powerful. And the next thing is remembering that your understanding is going to be limited. You, you can't understand everything in the world. You, you're not a genius. I mean, oh, the only God and Christ and whatever is perfect. I mean, so you're going to make mistakes. You're, you're not going to be able to really understand and know why or all the hows, um, because you're just, you just got to live with joy and purpose in your life, no matter what happens. And I like that, um, Philippians 4, 11 through 13, um, kind of shares that. 
purpose and a lot better. And then live in the present. Live in the present in the light of eternity was very powerful to understand this faith in here. And knowing that um, your destination is certain, that you're striving toward heaven, striving toward your goal, is very powerful to keep that in focus that you are striving to. So those were the three things that brought to me out in the story. So go back and read Psalm 73. So this was something very personal to me and, and knowing this, um, how you deal with pain and struggle, because I'm kind of going through a little struggle and trying to move to Houston. So <laughs> that this is very helpful for me in relating to different things and aspects of my life. And everybody deals with struggle. You have to have struggle and pain in your life to move forward. So knowing what that is and how you're focusing on solutions um, really helps. So read that Psalms and how that can help you move forward in your life and what you're what you're truly wanting to get out to success dreams. I love the hearts, guys. Thanks so much for sharing all the hearts. Thanks, T-Mac, for watching. Um, coming on and joining, you're going to want to watch this replay because it shares something very personal and how you can make sure you're, you can transform your life through the struggle that you have daily. All right, so that was something personal. Make sure you're sharing something personal out on social media so people can know where your heart lies, where you are being authentic in your life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.